Greetings. My name is Isaac Scott Green, but you can just call me Dr. Green. Welcome to my office, and as of the time I'm recording this, it is October, which means that Halloween is upon us. Now just to be completely honest, Halloween is my favorite time of the year, which is why I decided to review the following SCP today. So without further ado, the SCP we're reviewing today is SCP-330. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures Considering recent incidents, SCP-330 is to be kept in secure storage until further notice. Level 2 clearance is required for access to SCP-330 or its contents. All direct experimentation of SCP-330 is to be conducted using Class D personnel with no genetic history of diabetes. No more than two samples are to be removed from SCP-330 at any time, except during exposure testing. Description SCP-330 appears to be a small, round stainless steel bowl filled with variable amounts of individually wrapped pieces of candy. Taped to the side of the bowl is a handwritten note, reading, Take no more than two, please. Attempts to remove the note have met with failure, as have attempts to hide or obscure it. Testers have noted finding it impossible to avoid reading the note, and those who approach it from an opposite angle are aware of this request. When a quantity of candy greater than two pieces is removed, regardless of the means involved, the offender instantly has both hands severed at the wrist by an unknown method. Tests involving remote manipulation by Class D personnel resulted in operator's hands being removed despite no direct contact. Inspection of the incision reveals that the cut is made at a molecular level, leaving no two marks or identifying factors. It is to be noted that the third piece must not be removed within a certain time frame. After 24 hours, the count resets and additional candy can be removed. Discovered three days after Halloween of 2000 when a police investigation into what was believed to be a case of ritual dismemberment was launched. SCP-330 was seized as evidence but all attempting officers were killed after officer emptied the bowl of its contents. The cause of death was a result of Foundation agents, under the guise of federal agents, recovered the object with acceptable casualties. Addendum Due to continuing security issues, SCP-330 will be held in Dr. Kondraki's office when not required for testing. And that was SCP-330. I know there's an experiment log and all that, but I was a bit lazy and it just kind of reiterates what we already know about SCP-330, which is that it cuts off your arm when you take three. Moral of story people, don't be greedy. Anyway, this has been Dr. Green, signing out, happy Halloween.